Starting up an F-16 is nothing like hopping in your car and turning the keys. Here's what must be done before the Fighting Falcon can take to the skies. First, an exterior inspection of the aircraft is performed, checking for loose doors and fasteners, cracks, leaks, and any other damage. Next, it's time to check the inside of the cockpit to make sure seats and straps are all in good working order, and ensure there's no loose or foreign objects in the cockpit that could be thrown around during flight and seriously injure the pilot. They also inspect the emergency equipment like the radio beacon, the emergency oxygen, and of course, the ejection seat. The batteries are then tested to make sure the electronics are functioning, and now it's finally time to start the engine. The F-16 has an incredibly lengthy and complicated startup procedure that involves warming up the engine, testing fuel pumps and oil pressure, and even after it's running, there's still plenty of other tests to perform, like oxygen quality, the radio, and the GPS systems. It might seem like overkill to have all of these pre-flight checks in place, but when the plane you're inspecting costs $30 million and any malfunction could lead to disastrous results, taking the extra time to ensure that everything is perfect is worth it.